<clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. What we're gonna be talking about today is this little RTA right here. This comes from Advocan. This is the Manta Mouth to Lung RTA. And I put mouth to lung in air quotes because it's advertised as a mouth to lung RTA. It's marketed as a mouth to lung RTA, but I honestly don't think this accomplishes mouth to lung very well at all. I'm a very old school vapor. We started off with mouth to lung back in 2009. I've been vaping mouth to lung setups for the last nine and a half years and I still have mouth to lung setups on my desk. So I'm very familiar with mouth to lung and the type of mouth to lung experience that I like to have. And this Manta mouth to lung RTA does not accomplish that. Which truly and honestly doesn't really bother me that much because what this Manta mouth to lung RTA accomplishes is a very restricted, smooth, flavorful, restricted lung inhale. It is truly and honestly one of the best restricted lung hit tanks that I've ever used. And it's a shame that they marketed it as a mouth to lung because it is much better, much better off as a restricted lung hit. A lot like that Saver RTA. The only difference is that Saver RTA did both a restricted lung hit and a very solid mouth to lung. Whereas the Manta really shines as a restricted lung hit and not so much as a mouth to lung. There are some 0.22 uh, Fiends Aliens in here. I've got it loaded up with six milligram uh, Sage Nicotine Salts Fall Delight. The airflow is full open and it's just a smooth, beautiful, flavorful, restricted lung hit. Really just just a beautiful, beautiful vape. The airflow is smooth and quiet. And the flavor is just fantastic on this tank. The deck itself is a very straightforward single coil type of deck that a lot of RDAs and RTAs are using right now. It's got two slots for your coils. It's got two flathead screwdrivers to secure down your leads. It's got a nice big juice well in there as well as a pretty big, you know, kidney shaped opening within the tank so your juice can get to the cotton. It's very easy to build. It is very easy to wick. In fact, when you're wicking this, you're going to want to use a little bit more cotton than you think you need. The few times that I have built and wicked this, I have gone from using just a little bit too, you know, too little of a cotton, which leads to a lot of like floody, leaky gurgliness. And I've also used way too much cotton. Just I overcorrected and used way too much cotton, which lent to some, you know, uh, sort of dry burny hits. I can't imagine how many times I've said this throughout my YouTubing, but RTAs are always a little bit of a balancing act, right? Between your coil diameter, between the amount of cotton, between the viscosity of your juice, all these factors kind of need to line up to have that really nice leak-free, uh, spit-free vape. The whole tank disassembles uh, completely, very easily for cleaning. It comes with a straight glass option as well as one of those infamous bubble tanks. If you don't mind the look of a bubble tank, it gives you a little bit more capacity on the inside. With the straight glass on there, it's a two mil capacity. With the bubble glass on there, it's a three mil capacity. So yeah, I mean, if you like the way that a bubble glass looks, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it does give you a little bit more capacity. So like I said, I've been using this purely as a restricted lung hit, just flavor banger of a tank, and I have truly been enjoying it. It does have an AFC on the bottom, which is very, very stiff. It takes quite a bit of effort to sort of twist this into place to open it up to close it down and like i said the manta mouth to lung rta does kind of do mouth to lung it just does it very poorly you have to close down that airflow damn near all the way i mean you turn it down to just like a 
pinhole airflow on the bottom. And if you do that, you kind of can do uh, a very meh, mediocre mouth to lung. I've said this before in past reviews, and I'll say it again right now, just having tight airflow doesn't make something mouth to lung. There's a lot more involved in it, and that's unfortunately where I think Advocan dropped the ball on this, because their mouth to lung is literally just a tight, tight airflow. Close this all the way down to like a, a little pinhole on there. and it kind of works as a mouth to lung. But with other much superior mouth to lung tanks out there on the market, it's hard to recommend the Manta Advocan, you know, mouth to lung tank as a true mouth to lung tank. But on the other side of the coin, if you're looking for a tiny little, you know, uh, restricted lung hit flavor banger RTA single coil that's real easy to build and real easy to wick, the Manta mouth to lung RTA is exactly that. And it's just an overall really enjoyable version of that. Okay, so one last quick word of warning with this tank, you have to clip your leads flush. I mean, as close to that wall as you possibly can. I mean, even closer, as flush as you possibly can. Any little wire sticking out of there, and it especially happens with a little bit more, you know, complicated coils like Fuse Clapton's or Frame Staples or Aliens or something like this. Any little wires that are hanging out there where they're not supposed to be will come in contact with the sidewall of the chimney of the inside of the tank, and it will read as shorted on your mod when you put it all together. It's kind of frustrating to build your coils, put them on there, get them all glowing, wicked, it up, juice it up, and it's firing great on your mod, then you put the tank together and fill it up and you press the button and it says shorted. If that happens to you, it's because you didn't clip those leads close enough and you're going to have to go back in there, clip those leads real close. I mean, just flush with the wall. They have to be clipped close. So let's get down to brass tacks here. You're going to need your vape budget hands for the Manta Mouth to Lung RTA. Uh, I actually don't know. Clicking around the internet, I've seen this listed anywhere from $25 to $45, which is a pretty substantial price range. $45, yeah, maybe a little bit of vape budget hands are included there, but like for a $25 RTA, yeah, that's, I mean, that falls into the price range of it's almost cheap enough to buy it just to try it out. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game and they come and take everything I have and I have nothing left to vape, is the Manta Mouth to Lung RTA something I would seek out and buy right away? At a $25 price point, having this high quality of a little restricted lung hit flavor banger of an RTA is absolutely something I would want. It's really unfortunate that this was kind of advertised and marketed as a mouth to lung RTA because it does mouth to lung very poorly, but it does a restricted lung hit very well. It's got a few fit and finish issues. I don't love the bubble glass, although I like the capacity it gives me, and I don't love the Ultem drip tip that it comes with. But again, the quality of restricted lung hit flavor banger tank that I get from this it is just fantastic, and I love it. And this is only a 0.22 single alien, Fiends Alien in here. I've only got it sitting at 35 watts. You can run this on a single battery, you know, regulated mod and still get a pretty long battery life because you don't need to run this at a, you know, at a crazy high wattage. So yeah, that's enough rambling from me. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. It is what it is. It's the Advocan Manta Mouth to Lung RTA. And if you throw that mouth to lung component like right out of your head, this is actually a pretty rockin' little restricted lung hit flavor, flavor banger RTA that actually might be worth a look for a lot of people. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping.